Well, today I'm testing this Holly Carburetor. It goes on the Buick and uh, it's actually a replacement carby. It's an 80555 C vacuum secondary four barrel carburetor and the problem I've been having is that these are the secondaries fuel has been dribbling out of this particular port here which is only a breather so the layout of the carburetor is this is your fuel inlet and there's a valley here that goes to the top of the jet that feeds the primary there's a second valley that comes off here runs down through this pipe down through here up here to the top of the jet on the secondary so there's floats in both ends of this it's an old style holly and uh, it's called what's, uh, what's called a side hung float so the float <coughs> actually pivots on this from this end here and from this end here on the later hollies they're called center hung and they've got the valleys coming up here and here and there's uh, the float actually operates from the, from the center so I've had this apart multiple times now and stripped it I'll put photos up I think of the stripped carby <clears throat> but there is just a, a, a rectangular slot here comes underneath and this valley comes out of it and if there's fuel coming out of here then it means that this bowl must have completely filled which means that the needle is not doing its job, it's not cutting out and I'm assuming that since there's actually valleys there's another little plate that goes onto the back onto this face of the carby here so when the bowl comes off there's a plate and it's got two holes on the bottom I'll put pictures up and uh, and it's got valleys and so the fuel comes up and it can feed these two lines here which feed the venturi for the secondaries so if fuel's coming out of here I'm assuming it was probably dribbling from here as well but what it means is the float is supposed to cut the fuel off by shutting the needle at this point here when the fuel is down below the level of that breather I suspect this one uh, the later model carbies you can actually there are adjustment screws for setting the, the float level but this one you actually have to bend a tab on a float to set the level so what was happening I suspect is that I was turning on the petrol the petrol was filling it was actually I don't know jamming or there was something in the jet it was overfilling and just pumping the fuel straight out of here and presumably out of here and down into here and it was just flooding and you can't really see but there's soot down this these two barrels because the carby actually caught on fire because of the amount of fuel in it uh, when I was testing it the other day so what I've done is I've set up a uh, fuel pump here and I am going to put in a T in a section in here because I need to prime the fuel on that pump um, I got a mouthful of petrol the other day and I don't want to repeat that so I'm going to jerry-rig a system so I can just put that uh, hang on. I can put this fuel line into the petrol container and pull up some fuel to get it primed if it doesn't prime just by putting in a T in here 
and I've got a little vacuum pump that I, I'm hoping for, for setting um, for bleeding brakes and so forth. I'm hoping that by putting that on and pumping it, I can prime it without getting mouthfuls of petrol. So I will finish setting that up, and uh, and I'll get back. <laughs>